Windows Mixed Reality is a tough topic for me. While I completely understand why someone would use a headset under the WMR name if that's all they could afford, but I don't understand why anyone would purchase one of these headsets. For around the same price as something like the HP Reverb G2, you could purchase a Quest 2 or even save a little bit more and purchase the Valve Index. The HP Reverb G2, as I've heard, is a really nice headset. I've never used or even seen one in public, but for the price, it's no question that you're getting a quality headset. But for the same price as a G2, you could also purchase the Oculus Quest 2 or save up for the Valve Index like I stated before. Especially if your PC isn't exactly up to spec to run VR, you can invest that money into upgrading your PC and getting a Quest 2 to get a better experience. I've talked about how Facebook doesn't sell the Quest 2 as its main product, or rather your information to make profit in my other videos, so I won't go over it again. The Quest 2 being the nicest headset for its money means that it does come with some drawbacks of course. I've said it time and time again that getting the Quest 2 to run PC VR isn't a great experience. This is why I think the Reverb G2 is a great idea. Not only does it fill in between the Quest 2 and the Index spot, but its price is also slightly justified. Keyword there, slightly justified. While I do believe that you're getting the best headset for every penny you paid for it, you're also paying for Windows Mixed Reality. Windows Mixed Reality is Microsoft's way into the VR market. I remember a few years back when I was thinking about getting into VR, I looked up a few headsets in the WMR space and uh, let's just say there's a reason I didn't buy one. Because you're buying from Microsoft, you have to launch the WMR software every time you want to play PC VR. Now I know that the Oculus does the same thing with their app because I've had to do it every time I use my Quest 2, but with the feature in the Oculus app, I think it has a lot more reason to be open, especially with the link cable. Windows Mixed Reality, I think, needs to give a real reason to consumers why they should buy their headsets. Currently, the Quest 2 is the best portable headset, and the Index is the best PC VR headset. And the only reason I would ever buy a WMR headset is if I didn't want to buy a Quest 2 because of Facebook, or I couldn't afford the Index. Microsoft has a real problem with their current state of their platform. Not only does the main headsets on their platform not have any definable traits that would make you buy that headset, but with the fast progression of Oculus, that small window of reasoning to buy these headsets is slowly closing. Microsoft has had a reputation of releasing products that either no one wants or is rushed before perfection. We've seen it before with things like the Xbox 360 Kinect and even the Windows Phone. So not only do they have a problem of rushing without perfection, they also have no problem discontinuing these products when they're not doing so hot. This can be worrisome. I'd be fearful that WMR could be crashing down at any second, while you know that Facebook and Valve have extreme passion in taking over in the VR space. I do see a solution to this. The Valve Index, while being $1,000, sold out immediately the moment Half-Life Alex got announced. If Microsoft were to release an amazing game like Halo, or what I could definitely see happening, adding VR support to like the revival of Fable, and marketed the WMR platform as the best place to play these games, I could see them replicating the same success. I don't believe that Microsoft is a dumb corporation. They know when to buy in and pull out. WMR isn't a failing platform, at least for now. I already know when the, I post this video on the WMR subreddit like I do with every video, people are going to be mad. All I'm going to say is that Microsoft should help develop a headset with another company that's cheaper than the G2, but better than the Quest 2. Thank you all for watching, subscribe because YouTube only says about 20% of my viewers are returning subscribers, and I will see you tomorrow.